Hello, in this uh, separate tutorial, I'll be showing you how to import the Prism data as a CSV file into Sepec. Firstly, I'll just have to start Sepec. Uh, basically, I've already created the spreadsheet that's in the background, so I'll show you where it is. I'll go to the folder where I kept my file. In my case, it's under Geotech Prisms in Sepec tutorial. I right click on it uh, and I set as the current work directory and the spreadsheet in there is a uh, trial prism so I just uh, click that and it opens it. Okay in this spreadsheet there are three sheets in there one is raw prism data that's where the survey data uh, is brought in or in this case a quick slope program. The next field is the, the structure, the CSV format for SEPEC import. So basically the first uh, field you have string number, then you have the noting, the easting, the RL, you have the, uh, the the next three are the description fields. The first one is the whatever name you want to give, uh, the date, and then this is just the label for the string numbers. I'll explain that one later and you'll uh, have a, an understanding. Uh, basically these are the legends to the strings. So the string 001 is prism 0 and then up to prism uh, sorry string 30012 uh, which is prism 5 and that's uh, in JTAC terms it's uh, moving very rapidly. Um, yeah, so basically this has all been set up from the uh, raw data. What I've done was uh, fix this so that it will be imported easily into um, a setback. Okay, uh, once I'm ready, I'll just go move a copy. I'll just create a copy just into a new book. And then just go OK. And then it's uh, gone to a new book. I'll go save as just go whatever but just pick uh, comma delimited and then just go save yes and then close it to say yes I'll go back to setback I'll right click there click refresh the file is in there, CSV file, book file. What I do is go to file to import that CSV file into setback. At the moment it's a CSV file. So go import, come down to data from many string files. I'll just scroll to get book file, say open. Uh, tutorial, tutorial of this, let's say tutorial. Uh, field separated by character, yes, checked. Character separator, it's a comma, yes. That's file live header, yes. That's file live access record, uh, just leave it blank. Number of description fields, there were three here. One, two, three description fields. So I add three, and then click OK. Uh, just a confirmation, uh, string number is in field one. Uh, y, X, Z on 2, 3 and 4. Just go apply. The fields, uh, description field 1 is number 5, field 2 is number 6, field 3 is number 7. Go apply. And that's it. The points are in. Uh, the string file is created. It's tutorial 5. Just click on it and then I drag it in. At the moment, it's all over the place, string numbers mixed up, uh, just because we didn't load the style file. So to load the style file, I'll go type style, load, enter. And then just point to the folder that's it's in, click save, and then you click apply. So basically, it just uh, picks up the predetermined setup styles against what we imported. 
so when you look closer you've got the red ones here that's they are moving very fast and then the blue ones or the green ones are slow or not moving at all so you can zoom you can rotate have a look at it uh, the style is in this folder I'll just show you what I did with the style files um, I label the numbers string range numbers right at the end um, uh, just it's the three uh, zero zero series starting from seven down to twelve so these colors here basically just reflect those up here and that's how you do that thank you